So you'll probably want to save your configuration. The good thing is you can have that configuration load automatically when you power on the 2000. You could also have one or more drum programs load automatically too. So to do that, you visit the Shift 3 load page, then press the Setup soft key to configure the auto load feature. If you set this file type here to APS and all, which is the all programs and sounds plus all sequences, then this will load both the APS and all file found in the root directory of whichever primary device you have set here. Alternatively, you could set this to just APS, which will load a bunch of your sounds on power up, or you can have the MPC just load the all file on its own, which may contain one or more sequences. The default for this setting is off, but just be mindful not to keep any other APS or all files in your root directory other than the one you want the MPC to load. And I should just mention that you can also choose any of your um, SCSI devices too, or flash ROM if you've got a flash ROM option installed in your MPC 2000. But the SCSI devices might be something like a SCSI to SD or whatever. So you might want to check which uh, SCSI ID they're using to set this, and then you can have uh, something automatically load from another device rather than the Atapi device that I've got here, which is my card reader that I've installed on this one. Anyway, I hope that's helped you out. If it has, hit the like button, subscribe, ding the bell, and check out the channel for more walkthroughs just like this one. And there's also a Tone Lab Instagram and Facebook page you can check out too. So check the description area below for details. Thanks for watching and bye for now.